What's up there SEO pros? Today I'm going to show you guys how to get access to Google Analytics, Google My Business, Bing Search Console, and Google Search Console. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to Google Analytics first. So we'll type in Google Analytics. And you're going to want to go into analytics.google.com. Click on whatever property you want to share. So we'll just go to chasereiner.com. We're going to go to admin. Click on a user management, the plus sign, and then enter the email for whatever user we want to add. So if you want, you can go and click edit if you're going to be working on this site later. You can click read and analyze if you're just going to be doing an audit. And that's pretty much it. Uh, also, you can see it says collaborate, can create personal assets and share them if you want to let the people be able to share and analyze the analytics data as well that you're sharing this with. So generally, if you're just doing an audit for somebody, all you'll need for them is to uh, click the read and analyze. And then you're just going to press add. It sends them an email as long as you click notify users by email. So also, I forgot to mention, this video is very helpful if you're going to be uh, needing this data from clients and they don't know how to share it. Now you can send this to them and it makes it a lot easier for you. So next, we're going to go to uh, Google My Business. We're going to click on google.com slash business. We're going to sign in. We're going to uh, find the account we want to share. So we'll press manage and then find the account. It looks like iPhone Repair Santa Barbara. We want to share that. Click on manage. We're going to go to users. Add new user with the top right uh, button. And then you just put the email in. And you're just going to put manager, uh, which should give sufficient privileges. All right. From there on, we're going to go get the Google Search Console. So you're going to type in Search Console. We're going to click on google.com slash webmasters. We're going to sign into our Google account. Find the property that we need. So we'll go to HTTPS chaserunner.com. We're going to click on the little uh, cog signal and find user and property owners, click on that, add new user, and then type in the email. Restricted access should be fine as long as you're not going to be working on the site in the future. However, if you want to be able to submit site maps, submit an index URL, stuff like that, you're going to want full access. Cool. So that's how you set up those three. And then for Bing, you're just going to go type in Bing Webmaster Tools, click on this, sign in. You're going to go to whatever property you want to share. Go to configure my site. Click on users. And then add an email. Cool. So that's how you do that stuff. If you don't have these accounts, I will be creating um, tutorials in the future for how to actually set all this stuff up for brand new people. But that's how you share access and get access on these different things. So now you guys can send that to users who you'll be doing audits for in the future and you can easily get Bing, Search Console, Analytics and Google My Business access. So I hope that was helpful for you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video and until then, happy SEO.